We're developing story. A 17-year-old has died after being shot in the head. This development uh, coming in just the past couple of minutes. That shooting happened shortly after he left with his family from an Ast the Astros game last night at Minute Maid. Our Vincent Crivelli is live at Memorial Hermann in the Med Center where the team was rushed last night. Vince? Yeah, Lisa, definitely a heartbreaking situation. And as you mentioned, we found out just a few minutes ago that that young man has passed away. And to be clear, he was killed and the gunman is still on the loose and detectives need your help tracking them down. Watching baseball is America's pastime, and it's a great way for fathers and sons to bond. However, last night, a trip home from Minute Maid Park ended with gunfire and bloodshed. It's really unfortunate. It's really sad, and um, we're really hoping to figure out, um, you know, how this happened and who did it. After an Astros game, detectives say a father and his two sons were traveling home on I-10 when there was a possible road rage situation. Someone fired a shot into the family's truck and a bullet struck a 17-year-old boy in his head. The family pulled over near the McCarty exit. That's where first responders picked up the teenager and rushed him to the hospital. Right now, we don't have a suspect description. We don't have a suspect vehicle description. What we do know is that one complainant was shot uh, um, and then he's been transported to an uh, area hospital in critical condition. Here's another look at the family's truck. You can see the back window was shot out. Investigators have not confirmed if the family was involved in the road rage situation or if they were simply caught in the crossfire. Lisa, Andy, I do have an update. Authorities believe that the suspect was driving a white four-door Buick with a sunroof. Now, authorities, again, they're asking for your help, and a $5,000 reward is available if you call Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. Again, that phone number is 713-222-TIPS. Reporting live from the Medical Center, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, 2 News.